Greetings, YouTubers and internet land out there. Wanted to make a video I've been really excited to make for a while, only because I've been desiring to try this product for a long while, actually. And that is Modafinil, or uh, another brand name of it, a generic version is called Mode Alert. Uh, I went on to Reddit.com and read uh, quite a few different testimonials. Of course, I've known of Provigil and Modafinil for quite a while. There's a lot of information out there you can read. Excuse me, you can read about it. So earlier in my videos, if you watch my nootropics uh, journey, started off with paracetam, some other things, and then made my way. I uh, got a actually got a, uh, went and saw a doctor and took the test. Series of questions. I answered them 100% as honestly as I could. Um, and it turns out that I did have mild ADD, or do have, and that, that explains a lot of my life, actually, of why certain things were so hard for me in school, why sometimes it's difficult for me to pay attention, why sometimes when I'm supposed to be paying attention, my mind's going a million different places. Um, it just really made, made sense. It made sense. So uh, I actually got a prescription for Adderall. Used that for a while. Uh, did not like, after a while, the fact that it was a narcotic, which was adequately ex explained to me by my doctor, but at the time I just wanted to try it and see if it could help. Then when I really started thinking long term about it, I thought, you know, I don't think taking a narcotic over a period of time uh, is the best thing health wise for me. So uh, I did some research into Provigil and Modafinil and Motilator, et cetera, and there's quite a few testimonials online of people take, you know, using it for quite a long period of time and just stopping cold turkey, no withdrawals, no nothing. And so I thought, why not I give it a shot? So when I compared the price of a month's supply of uh, mode alert versus uh, a month supply of uh, Adderall, uh, it was quite cheaper to, to go the mode alert route. Now, I will say that I did go to my doctor and I told him, I said, I'm looking for an alternative to Adderall, a non-narcotic alternative to Adderall. And I've heard of people using a uh, product called Provigil and the generic uh, version is called Modafinil, which he had never heard of Modafinil. He heard of Provigil. was not willing to play game, not willing to play ball at all. He was like, well, you're going to have to get sleep test done We're gonna, because it's for narcolepsy and blah, blah, blah. He basically just shut me down, didn't want to do it. So I took the prescription after I got it tore it up, and then we're going to use it again. I'm just not down with narcotics. Um, personal reasons. Uh, some family members that have had their lives close to ruined based on addictions to uh, big pharma drugs, etc. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want any part of that. So um, I figured a three-month span on Adderall wouldn't destroy my life. So I, I tried it for a few months. So then it brings me to Mode Alert. So I went online and uh, found some places, and I found a place online. You can find them online too. This one was really reputable. It was on Reddit.com. You can go search Red Alert, Reddit.com, Mode Alert, Modafinil. You'll find it. Um, inbox me if you want to know where. Uh, put the order in about two weeks later. Just like the website said, I got it. And uh, that next day, I popped these little mode alert pills and if I were to break this open and let you look at it it's a little white pill with a line going through it um, 200 milligram at first I broke it in half and just did half oh sorry first I broke it in half and just took half of it um, took half of it and then I, I noticed that it started working and so I said I'll just take the full 200 dosage which now I don't think I really needed to uh, but my experience is this. When I take this pill, uh, it helps me to uh, definitely concentrate on the task at hand. Uh, it calms me down a little bit, especially if I double up on it. Now, today, I just decided to be crazy and blah, blah, and see, okay, what would it be like if I took two pills in the span of like 10 hours? What would that feel like? What would that do? And I tell you what, when when I took the second pill, I guess around the peak time of the first pill and it mixed together, man, it was quite amazing. Um, there's no need for me to do that. 
I just wanted to see what that would be like because I know that in, in case studies and, and, and groups and whatnot, they tested this stuff on like, uh, you know, people taking, you know, 400 to 600 milligrams a day. Uh, so I figured one time at 400 wasn't going to kill me. Um, and it was amazing. The reason why it's amazing to me, and this is what it does for me. So normally, if I'm at work and I haven't, you know, drinking my coffee or, you know, and haven't um, uh, taken, you know, Adderall or now Mode Alert, it's like this. I'm sitting down on my computer. Oh, check this out. It's this book. I got some drumsticks right here. When did I get this little fish thing? Oh, what, is that the dryer one? I need it. Work. I'm on the internet. I could check Facebook right now. Facebook. Phone. Pop in one of these things. All right. What do I want? And this is what. It, this is a few minutes later. What do I want to do? All right. Let's go ahead and, and, and do that, get that project done. I'll do that. And it's, it really focused me in really well. That's what it does to me. I had some uh, comment, intelligent comment challenged person send me an email or a comment on here and said, I tried New Vigil. It didn't work. All that stuff is just placebo. Everyone's different. Everyone's going to react to any of these things. Paracetam, Mode Alert, uh, 5-HTP, uh, anything, coffee, um, anything. You're going to react differently. So the way that I react to this stuff is not going to necessarily mean that that's the same thing that's going to happen to you. Some people drink coffee and, and can't go to sleep all day or whatever. With my wife, if she drinks a cup of coffee right now, she'd be up for hours. I could drink a cup of coffee right now and go straight to sleep. Um, people react differently to stimulants. I wouldn't say this is a stimulant, really. I didn't feel oh, stimulized. Stim I didn't feel stimulants effects. Um, so if you're going to watch my videos and, and comment, j just think a little more before you put something stupid like saying, it's just a placebo effect. You know what? If, if I could take a sugar pill or if I found out that these were just sugar pills that it was all in my mind, I would still take them every single day. Because think about how amazing that is. I'm mean, taking something with the knowledge, okay, this is going to help me do this. And after I take it, it does that. And I'm getting the benefit of what I thought was going to produce even though it's a sugar pill. How amazing is that? That's utterly amazing. And then well, someone would say, well, then you don't have to take the pill. It don't work like that, man. <laughs> I've tried to placebo myself, like not take a pill or not, not take one of these or not, and just try to, okay, zone in. Does not help me. It doesn't work like that with me. Now, I will say that there are some changes that I'm going to be making that I'm making right now, and that includes I'm going to start jogging more. I've learned how based on a little bit of research. To I mean, I've jogged before, done a 5K and 10K, and I finally realized how to control my breath when jogging. So I'm going to start jogging again. I noticed after I jogged and I was controlling my breath tonight, I had the same kind of relaxed feeling that I had earlier when I took two of those, two of the uh, modal words. Um, and so obviously physical exercise every day is a, is a, is a, is a health benefit that you should do. I'm also getting six to eight hours of sleep, trying to really hardly. I'm also trying my best to clean up my diet. So I'm adding those three key life health components to my nootropic usage. So, and maybe one day I only have to take these. And I also indicated in one of my other videos that I, I really like essential oils. I feel like those are really safe. So yeah, I highly recommend if you have an issue with focus and concentration and staying on target, if you've got the money to procure procure some of these and just try it out. Um, yeah, that's it. Take it easy. Add some comments. Subscribe. Ask me questions. Boom.